In this morning's Health Watch, HPV, it is the leading cause of nearly all cervical cancers in women, but a new study finds that about 50% of men are also infected with it as well. CBS News medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is with us this morning. Jen, good morning. Good morning, Chris. So what exactly did this study show? This study looked at over 1,100 men, 18 years of age, up to 70 years of age in three countries, followed them for an average of about two years, and reassessed them approximately every six months. Significant findings, HPV, incredibly common. The human papillomavirus affecting about 50% of this general population. And interesting in this study, as men aged, older men just as susceptible to getting the virus. 20 million Americans are currently affected with it right now. And I want to say that this is a mystery disease, but why don't more people know that they actually do have it? Well, first of all, Chris, 20 million active infections. The estimates are that by the age of 50, anywhere from 50 to 80 percent of men and women will be infected with the virus. When you look at a younger age group, college students, one out of two will become infected with HPV in their four years of college. Why is it so common? People don't know they have it. It's microscopic. It often can give no symptoms, and routinely men and younger women are not often screened or routinely checked for it. I mean, there's numbers, they're staggering. I mean, there's the numbers that you just Absolutely. said right there. Um, we've heard a lot about, and I mentioned it a second ago, that HPV causes cervical cancer uh, in women. But what else does it cause in women? And then it, with men as well, what does it, it cause there? Anything from genital warts to abnormal pap smears to cancer. And when you talk about cancer, leading cause of head and neck cancer, so oral cancers, largely HPV related cervical cancers HPV causes the majority of cancer of the cervix and then other genital regions penile cancers anal cancers other genital cancers these are the leading causes of these cancers totaling approximately 32,000 cases of cancer in men and women in this country every year well I guess the big question will be how do you prevent HPV uh, and how do you I guess avoid the risk of getting it well the biggest issue Chris is that people say well just don't have sex yeah. and you won't get it that will not work because this is passed by intimate skin-to-skin -skin contact and obviously as we can say it's microscopic you want to uh of course, practice safe sex whenever possible. You want to limit your number of sexual partners. And then when you talk about the vaccine, approved in 2006 for girls ages 9 through 26, last year approved for use in men up to 26 years of age. So you want to talk to your doctor about whether vaccination is appropriate. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you. Good you to bet. see you this morning.